Assalamu alaikum everyone uh, Sharing with you As an additional information About the report On the Iglesia de Cristo As part of our course The concern of the Philippine Church In the Philippines So Iglesia de Cristo Started in 1914 So the history of Felix Manalo That will be our sharing the history of his church and the doctrines of this INC 2014. So, this is our outline. The history of Manalo, the history of Iglesia Ni Cristo 1914, the teachings of the Iglesia Ni Cristo. So, that will be our, uh, my sharing with you once again in addition to the report given by your uh, classmate. So, the Iglesia Ni Cristo was established by God Himself in 1914, and that was their belief. Then, this new movement began in 1914 in our county, the Philippines. Then, Felix Manalo, the head and its founder, is also known as the Executive Minister. The original Church of Christ apostatized, that's according to them. Then, Felix Manalo became the Savior of the last days. That's why they believe that Felix Manalo is the last messenger. In Islam, if Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger, in the Iglesia ni Cristo, ang huling sogo is also Felix Manalo. Then Manalo is the ravenous bird. So, ibong mandaragit daw ayon sa paniwala nila from the east and from the far country in the Philippines. Then he was the fifth angel rising from the east And the east is the Philippines So that was the belief Angel of God That's why Felix Manalo is an angel of God The last messenger Then Felix is Jacob And the INC is Israel So yun yung turo nila Then the Philippines is the Isles of the Sea So we know that one Then salvation is the is only in the INC 1914. That's why this is one of their teaching. If you will not become a member of their church, if you will not be an INC, you will not be saved. You will go to hell. And that was their belief. Sabi ko kawawa naman ito mga millions kawawa naman tayo, including the Muslims, because we are not English and Christo. And because of their belief, sila lang ang naliligtas daw. Then in the year 1914. According to them, that's the end of the earth. Then the INC in 1914 is the people of the far, afar off. Then the other fold of Christ. Then Christ, for them, this is their teaching. Is an only mere man, and he is not God. So yun yung paniwala nila. Mas paniwala sila kay Manalo as the messenger of God, while Jesus. Is only a mere man, tao lamang at hindi Dios. That was their teaching. Then Christ was the is only made as Lord by God. Ayon. Then Christ worship not because he was God. So medyo malaking respeto din nila kay Christ. Then the Holy Spirit is not God. Then according to them, because we Catholics, this why that's why this is one of the concern. All the Christian groups, all the Christian groups, even the Protestant, they believe the Holy Trinity, that in God there are three divine persons. But for them, this is a false teaching, a false doctrine. That's their belief, and they do not believe the Father, the Son, and the Spirit as one God. And those who believe that Jesus is both God and man are the Antichrist. So, isela yung nanghuhusga. For all the Christians, including the first Christian group, the Catholics, that we are anti-Christ because we believe the two nature of Jesus as God and as man. Then the doctrine, tawag nila ito, the soul sleeping. Then what about the birth of the founder of this cult, Iglesia ni Cristo? So Felix Manalo was born. In Calzada Tipas Tagigrisal, on May 10, 1886, he was the first born son of Bonifacio Manalo, 
and Mariano Isagon. Both devout Catholics. He had a sister named Praxides. So, ulitin ko ha, the family name of the mother is Manalo and the father is Isagon. And therefore, dapat Felix Manalo Isagon. But there was changes. Kasi Manalo nga, Victor. The victory. Kaya nga, ginawa nila ngayon na family name ang Manalo. Kaya nga, Angel of God man siya para sa kanilang paniwala. At sa the last messenger of God. Then, the parents is a devout Catholics. He had a sister. Yung sabi natin si Praxides. Then, Mariano Isagon, the father, is a farmer and a shrimp fisherman. So, the family was a dearth poor. In 1896, the year of the Philippine Revolution, Mariano Isagon, the Felix father, died. Then his mother Bonifacia Manalo remarried and this time to Clemente Manzo, a widower. So yon ang nangyari after that Philippine Revolution nung namatay ang kanyang tatay. Then Bonifacia and Clemente Manzo had two children. So ito na yung half Uh, brother or sister ni Manalo Two months before the birth of their second child Clemente Manso also died Then to support the family Aling Bonifacia found employment As a weaver of bamboo mats On the other hand Felix moved from one job to another As a barber, photographer, goldsmith and hat maker So marami palang talent itong The messenger of God, the angel of God Si Manalo Then When Manalo found a Bible, Felix had an uncle, a certain Mariano Borja, a priest of the Catholic Church serving the parish in Sampaloc, Manila. In 1900, the parish home of his uncle, he found a Bible. Felix later, later, biographers wrote that Felix had been warned by his uncle about the book, but Felix got more curious. Reading it opened his eyes. He began to entertain some questions about the church. So, this was the start. Nung nakita niyang Bible, ang the question, bakit pinagbawalan kaya? Hindi naman siguro pinagbawalan. But the point here, baka it will result to wrong interpretation, to personal interpretation. Kaya nga, that was the Maybe warning of the uncle na pari. Then his religious journey, take note on this, joined the colorum groups of the Methodist Episcopal Church. So ito naman yung mga ibang mga sekta na doon naman lumipat si Manalo o Isagon. His religious journey brought him into the contact with the colorum groups in Banahaw, a Catholic sex that preyed on the untrained minds of searcher who wanted something new. He left the group when he discovered that the voice of some spirit speaking from the inner sanctums of the wave, mesmerizing its devotees, was actually that of the Kulorum leader. So, yun yung unang napuntahan niya. May isang sekta din na Kulorum. Then, in 1902, He heard a debate between the American Protestant missionary and a Catholic priest. Two years later, he joined the Methodist Episcopal, then studied the Bible in their school and became a Methodist preacher. So once again, from Catholic to Methodist, una doon sa kulorum naman na sektas in Banahaw. So nagiging Methodist siya ngayon, then his mother was dying and became a good, being a good son, he went back of their home in Taguig to spend the last days of her. He saw the priest giving his mother an extreme unction. By the way, this extreme unction, the extreme unction, this is the last sacrament na binibigay sa dying for us, the Catholics. Then, being a Protestant pastor, knowing from his studies and the Bible school that Catholic rites and practices were of no effect of the living or the dead, he opposed it. He and the priest had a hot discussion, an argument that led to nowhere. So, yun yung challenge nga of the Catholic Church now. And why? Not only the Iglesia ni Cristo, but all the Christian uh, faith churches 
all the movement, all of them are against the Catholic Church. Kaya nga yun yung hamon, especially in the Philippines. And one of, the, of them is, of course, the Iglesia, the INC, Iglesia Ni Cristo. Then, in order to teach the young pastor a lesson, the priest did not allow two remains, the Monifacia Manso, to be buried in the Catholic Church in Tagui. And for all you know, because the Catholic Church, kami lang of all the religion of the world, the Catholic Church, yun lang may mga cementerio, kaya nga hindi inaalaw yung namatay ang kanyang uh, nanay na doon ilibing. So Felix had his, his mother entered into the Anglican Aglipayan, or Aglipayan Cemetery at the village of Kabaong near the Piteros Rizal. So doon na sa Aglipayan. By the way, you have also a report about Aglipayan. Aglipayan does also uh, coming from the Catholic Church which is founded by Gregory Aglify. So yan, malalaman nyo yan later from the report. Then he now sought an honor to his mother's memory by changing his surname to Manalo. So this is it. In honor of the mother, that's why he changed his family name into Manalo. But first is Isagon. Sabi nga, kasi ito man yung palaging naninira sa Catholic Church, ang grupong ito, ang koltong ito, isagon dapat, hindi manalo. But in honor of the mother, so this is now the lesson and the history, kaya nga pinalitan niya ng manalo because the word of himself is victor or victorious or victory, ibig sabihin manalo. Kasi may balak na siya. Then Felix P. River, the... Uh, don't play the criticism that Felix had his name changed because Manalo was much known as than Isagon. Kita natin, kaya nga pagbalikta rin mo yung Isagon, irambol mo yan, magiging sungay din yan. And why? I would say na sila talaga yung pinakasungay na nanonungay sa turo ng katoliko. Wala silang mga pagtuturo or preaching preaching love, preaching the word of God pag hindi makapanira, especially the Catholic Church. Kaya nga, yun yung challenge and yung concern din ng mga Catholic Church. That's, that's why now there are priests now na talagang sinasagot yung mga mali nilang akusasyon laban sa uridin sa true church founded by Christ. Then this time, he again had a change of churches. So, pa, lipat-lipat na siya from Methodist to Presbyterian, another sect, and this sect had much improved the facilities and much bigger Bible school, the Ellen Wood. Okay? Then Manalo either was a restless soul looking for the right church or the opportunities, opportunists looking for the great gains. Then for gains, he changed churches and now he joined the Church of Christ. Indigenously American. This church operated in the Christian mission and the Bible and a Bible college. So yeah, for the gain, for the uh, may improve siya. So from one fake church to another fake church. Then what about the experience of the Church of Christ? Remember that is coming from the Amer American set. Then Leslie Wolf wrote a letter a certain labor Las Pinas. In answer to the Catholic, to the latter's question about Felix Manalo affirming the following, Felix was indeed one of the students of that school. So, yun yung paniwala. Then, Felix was their supported preacher preaching the Church of Christ in uh, Singalong, uh, Manila. Then, that Felix had married one of their students named Tomasa, Tomasa Sereno. Then that Felix had been accused of domestic violence as well and was disciplined by the church by beating his wife. They had his support to cut off when Felix refused to meet with them. As a result, Felix left the Church of Christ. So, take note. So talagang kung may 9262 pa noon, violence against women, kaso lang wala. So nabilanggo na itong kanilang uh, founder at saka angel of God. Kasi wife wife bitter itong taong ito. Then, Brother Wolf said that Felix Manalo had fathered another child and another woman according to the records. So, on the records sa hindi yan sa uh, paninira sa kanya. So, ang dami pala. From this, Tomasa, then uh, hiniwala yan kasi 
wife bitter siya. Ngayon, according to this pastor, yung brother Wolf from the Church of Christ, may mga inanakan pa siya. Then in 1912, he attended a Bible lecture conducted by Finsters, the Adventist missionary, before the year ended. Felix Sweets, a membership to SDA. Ah, so yan na yung Angel of God nila, palipat-lipat. Pero yung mga members nila, ano dito, mangmang dito sa kanyang buhay. Pag malaman na sigurong buhay, I think, matauhan sila that he is not really an angel of God. He is a rapist, he is a bybider, and everything is there. Pero ang ito, pag palagi silang hinusgahan, pag babalik yung paghuska sa kanila, ah, magpaawa-awa, ah, kasi ganun talaga yung totoong simbahan. So, ganun sila ka-fake. Kaya nga, ah, there are times na hayaan na lang sila, pero ang problema, yung paninira nila, dapat din na sagutin. Kasi ang alam ng mga tao, lalo na nga especially the weak Catholic, wala talaga ding alam. Then to the point, o oh, tama pala sila. But now, you know, majority sa atin mga Muslim naman, uh, the point here that, you know, this is the subject. So kaya nga, this is one of the concern of the Catholic Church in the Philippines. Then, by the time Felix was already a widower, he now courted an Adventist last name, Honorata de Guzman. For reasons that were not explained, Felix eloped with that with the woman. Being a widower, he did not need to, for he was free to remarry. Then they married in 1909, in May 9, 1913. Then he brought her to his church in Malolos, Bulacan. Then the Adventist church did not take too kindly on this action by their local worker. They put Felix under discipline for the elopement and for another infraction they called moral indiscretion. That was the last straw to Felix. Then he revered his ties with the SDA. Pero by the way, itong SDA, itong pinanggalingan, marami siyang natutunan din dito. Ang isa dito na galing kay... Uh, Ellen White na ang Santo Papa daw ito yung demonyo sa buong mundo the beast, ito yung paniwala until today, yun yung paniwala nila or baka siguro sila yung beast kasi grabe ang panghusga until today ha, yun yung challenge yun yung uh, concern din sa church because binansagan yung aming leader na ang pinakabod demonyo sa buong mundo kasi nasa hula daw nasa revelations, sa Biblia yun yung paniwala nila Then, what about the history of this incomplete, ah no, ay Iglesia ni Cristo pala in 1914. So, the first group founded by Felix Manalo. Without the church and without support, Felix went back to his making hot business. So, lumabas na siya sa Sabadista. So, ngayon, doon na siya sa ngayon ng business. And this time, he mingled with a group of skeptics. Itong skeptics, agnostic and atheist, they don't believe God, they don't believe nagduda sila and they don't know the express the atheists they do not believe the existence of God he however, he, uh, he however did not stay long with the group because of their deliberate misuse of the scriptures then in 1913 November he secluded himself two days and three nights in the room of a certain Eusebio Sunga in Pasay who generously provided them lodging from that experience he came out A changed name. A, he came out changed man. He now thought he had found the true church and that he had a mission to strive to end disunity among Christians. O yun. Kasi nagpuusa pala siya. Two, two days and three nights. Wala kain-kain. So paglabas niya, ayun. I have to found a church. Have, kaya nga, true church. Kasi in order to unite daw mga Christianong nagkawatak-watak. So, I don't know kung anong nangyari, kung may revelation doon na hindi lang kumain, nagkulong lang sa kwarto, paglabas, siya na ang messenger of God at nagtayo ng kanyang, sabi niya, magtayong totoong simbahan para may unite daw ang Christian. Pero in reality, kaya nga this is one of the concern, hindi sila nag-unite kung hindi ang paninira lang ang alam nila. So, disunity pa rin and I think alam yan ang mga sinungaling nila na ministro until today. With his wife in tow, he boarded a banka across the Pasig River. In Sitio Punta, Santa Ana, Manila, he saw the people that he had known during his preaching days. The place was a compound of Atlantic Gulf and the Pacific. 
Then in the compound, Felix had some success in immersing his first 12 disciples. So yun, nagkaroon siya ng grupo. And this group became Iglesia ni Cristo. Note that the designation of their church is a strict Tagalog translation of the Church of Christ. Then the church that had first supposed Felix as their evangelist and to put an end to criticisms that his church is a, colo is a colorum group He had it registered with the government with the sole purpose of preaching the gospel. Ayun, at least na-register sila kasi para hindi tawagin kolorom. So, galing siya sa una-una kolorom, pumasok sa mga kolorom din until today para hindi sabihin siyang kolorom, pinaregister niya ang kanyang grupo starting from the 12. Then the first paragraph of the Articles of Incorporation. Ito yon in nakasulat sa uh, Espanyol. Que los founders de esta asociación son Felix Manalo, Demisiliado en Taguig Rizal, Pedro Inocenso, Anat Atanasio Morte, Feliciano Erdilion. So, yun yung mga kasamahan niya. So, the translation in English, the founders of their associations are Felix Manalo, residing in Taguig, Pedro Inocenso, Atanasio Morte, Feliciano, and at iba pa, I think there are 19 founders of their church, but Felix Manalo was the head. Kaya nga, hindi ito alam ng mga members nila, kasi hindi itinuturo, ang itinuturo, ang paninira lamang sa ibang relihiyon, especially the Catholic Church. Ito ngayon, their angel of God, their last messenger of God, ito niyan, there are cases of immorality, di ba? Kanina sabi natin, From the Colorum, he joined the Methodist, my caso, beating the wife. He joined the Sabadista, another caso. Then, pinatalsik siya, nagkayo siya ng grupo. Now, this is it. The under, in 1916, their number had increased. They started expanding outside Manila. In 1922, they had new congregations in the provinces of Tarlac, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, and Bulacan. That year, too, in 1922, Felix was accused of immorality. Many members left his church while others chose to confront him and of his sins. The most serious of these are the challenges of his authority was the Ora Rebellion, led by Chofilo Ora and another prominent INC member named Boni Basilio Santiago. This resulted to the loss of his churches in Nueva Ecija and Bulacan. So, nakagrupo na, then because may nag- a rebelde against his kagrupo din niya so natanggal siya sa Nueva Ecija and Bulacan na in which the members now hindi alam ito kaya nga pag ipaalam ito sana matauhan din sila then Felix trip to United States in the Pacific School of Religion Felix must be have must have realized that although he had the Tagalog charismatic firepower the great facility of the dialect he Knowledge-wise, still lack the power to convince his detractors of the reasonableness of his cause. He had already registered his church and had already learned the Bible in the Vito de School, the Presbyterian Church of Illinois Facilities, and the Church of Christ Bible College. Then those were not enough. So he heard him making the trip to America, especially in the Pacific School of Religion. In sunny California in 1919. Well, if he did study Bible science in the U.S. Theology College, his name would have appeared in the roster students, but it did not. That's according to Jaime Joseph, the Iglesia ng Two Minor Religions said. So ibig sabihin, sino ng lingdin palasya? Akala daw ng aral pero walak palak e walak sa roster, walak sa listahan. So yun yung Angel of God nila. Now, since an angel of God has a sugo in 1922 after the rebellion or the aura, yung si aura, one of the members, Manalo started proclaiming himself as the messenger, sugo ng Panginoon, sent by these last days to preach His righteousness beginning with the Filipinos. So yun, nag-start yun, nasugo siya 1922. Then, ganito yung kanilang reasoning. What is the truth shares? It is the church that has a sugo. Ayon. The man 
to whom God alone revealed His will through this last day. Ayon, yun yung paningin nila. Ang true church daw, there was a so good, a last messenger na nag si God. Then, ang sogo or the messenger is also who fulfills the prophecies about the revenous bird. So, ito yung tinatawag na ibong mandaragit from the far country at mababasa ito sa Bible in Isaiah 46 verse 11 na buot-buot na hindi naman to siya ang ibong mandaragit. Then, the fifth angel who raises from the east, that's also in the Bible in Revelation, the ibong mandaragit and that fifth angel kuno ang sabi nila at paniwala nila ay si Felix Manalo the sugo the last messenger of God paniwala nila yon then another doctrine sa kanilang sugo the four other angels of America the Great Britain the France and Italy so siya yung panglima daw so may mga pangalan ito ha then the hurting of earth is the first world war then the east and the far country is the philippines yung paniwala nila then the servant of god are filipinos then the ceiling is the preaching of the gospel and the reemergence of the new church then any church that has no sogo tingnan nyo any church na walang sogo walang messenger is not the church of christ so mapalad sila kay sinugo daw buot buot din na sogo na siya daw After three days na wala kain, wala tulog, sugo din siya ng Panginoon. At saka maraming mga gano'n na mga kulto. Hindi kumakain, nagpupuasa at sinasabing sugo sila ng Panginoon noon. Then since the sugo is God's last messenger, he too is a man whom men must accept for the saving and sanctification of their soul. Wow! Makikita yan sa kanilang pasugo. Pasugo, by the way, that's their magazine and the members... Hindi pwedeng magbasa ng Bible doon lang pasugo. Ang sinasabi nyo in Filipino, kasi Filipino church nga sila, tanggapin natin siya na uh, tanggapin natin siya sa ikababanal at ikaliligtas ng ating kaluluwa. Oh, you have to accept Manalo as the last messenger of God so that you'll be saved. That's in their pasugo. Kaya nga, kawawa pala tayo. Kawawa pala kaming billions and millions, millions of Catholic na sila ilang milyon lang sila lang pala ang maliligtas wow ang galing and that's a concern of the Philippine Church bakit concern kasi gusto lang natin ito ituwid yung mali sila lang palaging naninira kaya nga sinasagot na natin ito ngayon especially ngayon alam natin in our class na may mali pala kaya nga if they want to preach the word of God dapat hindi paninira pero ang alam sa mga satanas paninira lang so that's the point there kaya nga it's, it, that's our concern then so both the Old and New Testament are Felix credentials of for messengership now for the proof that the East is indeed the Philippines so you go to the Philippine history then Felix messengership is proclaimed not in the Bible oh, sila sila lang but in his magazine called Pasugo take note sila lang nagdeclare the last messenger of God na nakasulat lang sa Pasugo kaya nga ang pagbumunyag page 184 why is this very important teaching of the INC 1914 written by the Pasugo but not the Bible well the Bible had already been written and can no longer be revised to include Felix name fantastic reasoning is it isn't it ah, yan kasi buot-buot wala mang ligtas sa Biblia doon sila sa pasugo na siya yung angel of God the last messenger then on the last days of Felix Manalo in 1953 Felix chose his son Iranyo kaya nga the second uh, successor his fifth child by Huronata de Guzman, his third son after the Dominador and the Salvador, to take over his place as executive uh, minister of the INC, 1914. Malinaw itong 1914, kay sila, si Cristo daw nagtayo, pero hindi si Felix Manalo, alam natin yon. Then, 10 years later, on April 12, 1963, Felix died, and apparently of cancer. Wow, ang angel of God, namatay pala sa cancer. Then, Iranyo Manalo, the first 
the fifth child of Honorata nagiging successor who had been waiting in the wings took over as head of the church that his father had founded so references John ang kasama ko dati sa semana si Father Jaime anak sa kanyang libro na Iglesia ni Cristo the too many religious sect that's in page 9 kaya nga walang ligtas proven and tested itong mga references then note that in the year 2009 saw the demise of Iranio Manalo so namantay naman yung first successor ng kanilang simbahan then Eduardo his son is now the present in 1914 Eduardo na ba ngayon? okay yung bago nila then the teachings of Ligsan in 2014 pag tinatanong who founded the church 1914 then para sa kanila The, according to the Iglesia ni Cristo, God did. So now, inaangkin nila, the founder is Felix Manalo. Totoo ba ito? In 1914, malinaw ito, a young Filipino by the name Felix Manalo, 28, married, began preaching the Church of Christ in the place of Sitio Ponta in the district of Santa Ana in the city of Manila, Philippines. This event, which marks the beginning of the new religious movement in the history of what is known as Christian world occurred concurrently with the outbreak of the First World War in Europe on July 27, 1914. So that's in the Pasugo. That's why nire-register nila itong kanilang uh, simbahan, na totoong simbahan kuno, founded by God. So, in the first paragraph of the Articles of Incorporation, so malinaw ito, at nasabi na nito kanina. So, doon na tayo sa translation that the founders of this association, association ha, Art Felix Manalo, the resident of Tagig Rizal, Pedro Inocenso, Anat Atanasio Morte, Felic Felicissimo de Leon, and the rest, kasi 19 yun sila. Then, established 1914, so nagiging obispo na din siya, naging Bishop Felix Manalo, buot-buot din. And that is in the Encyclopedia of the Philippines. Then the church has as Jesus, the true church as has Jesus as its founder. So ito yung claim. In Matthew, makikita din ito. I... Matthew 16, verse 16. And I also say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and on this rock, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Upon this rock, okay, the construction of the custom in Judea, which to supplied the Lord with themes to use in his teaching, is the beginning of the house or edifice on the rock, as a solid foundation providing security from in inundations, tempest, storm, and other vagaries of nature. The word rock or pietra, which is feminine, not Peter or Pietros, which is the masculine. Then the rock refers to the truth that Peter just confessed. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God, everything that is Christ, his deity, His divine sonship and His messiahship is one of the great foundation on which to erect the divine institution that would stand which amidst the flames of persecution, the other trials. I will build my church. Remember in that gospel of Matthew, I will build my church. Christ did not build churches but my church. Ibig sabihin, there is only one church. So that's why this is the challenge kasi sa likid nila, kinukot din nila itong Matthew 16 verse 18. Lahat ng mga peking simbahan, ganun ang ginagawa. Christ says, I will build my own church. Church is a Greek word, ecclesia, which means assembly or gathering. The term is applied to Christians as one being called out from the world, a body of men and women devout, devoted to a certain master, a society of people united in a goal to serve God and worship Him in a place. So, yun yung iglesia, my church. So, once again, 
Kaya nga, Philippine Church, this is just uh, maybe an eye-opener that Christ build one church, not churches. Then, the church is the house that God built. So, another verses in the Bible na kinukot, except Jehovah build the house, they labor in vain that build it, except Jehovah keep the city, the watchman wicked by, but in vain. So, yon then, in Timothy, but if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how men ought to behave themselves in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar ground of the truth. Then notice in Psalm 27, yung the theme in Psalm 127, is that human endeavor succeeds only in the divine blessing. If we apply the word house to the church, the principle still holds true. Any build, church building efforts that does not have God's sanction is an empty enterprise. Also, any church that did not build is not his and they who promote it are just washing their efforts so malinaw yan kasi buot buot kasi siya so in Matthew 15 he answered and said every plant which my heavenly father planted not shall be uprooted oh, malinaw ito kung nagbuot buot sila sabi na sila daw but the heavenly father pwede silang tatanggalin sa puno Ibuton ba kung sa Sibuano pa? Then the literal translation, And he answering said, Every plant which my heavenly father planted shall not be uprooted. Okay. Jesus compares the Pharisees to plants in a garden that were not planted by the owner of it and declares that they shall be rooted up. They were teaching without divine authority or approbation and what he had said was intended not to please them, but not, but to root them up. So, kaya nga, if you'll ask who is the authority na may nagsabi na ikaw ang last messenger, na ikaw yung angel of God, siya siya lang nagsabi. Wala sa Biblia, kundi nakasulat sa pasugo nila. So, yun yung katotohanan. Masakit na katotohanan na hindi din alam ng mga membro Kasi ang alam lang ang paninira sa ibang doktrina, especially to the Catholic Church. Then, the Iglesia ni Cristo began in 24 at Punta Princesa. Then, this movement began 1914. So, sinabi na natin ito kanina na yun, pinaregister nila. Then, the true church was prophesied to, to be established in Jerusalem in the east. So, marami yan, ha? Mga simbahan. Dal the Mormons, the last days, the Jehovah's Witness. And all the nations shall flow not into it. Then he will teach us his way. Then out of Zion comes the law that Jehovah's word had from Jerusalem. So lahat maraming nag-claim dito in this verse. Kasali sila. Then the true church was established in Jerusalem on Pentecost Day. That's in Acts. So totoo ito. Okay? Kaya nga for us Catholics, the birthday of the church is Pentecost Sunday. Okay, where the apostles were able to speak in different languages. The Pentecost of 50th day from the day of Jesus was resurrected from the dead. That's in Acts 2. Then they waited in the upper chamber in the house of the city of Jerusalem. They were filled and guided by the Spirit. They preached the word of God and the law of salvation. Those who were saved were added to their numbers. Those baptized were added to the one body. And they were the first church of Jesus when did this happen in 1033 AD based on the history so sino ito hindi ito tinutukoy ang iglesia ni Cristo 2014 or 1914 but ang tinutukoy dito the church of Jerusalem was founded in 33 AD was a catholic church history would tell us history would tell us then magsabi mesa nasaan sa Biblia punto por punto yun lang alam nila but the history pagbasahan sila ng history Ayun, mabugo sila sa history. So, kaya nga, this is the concern of the Catholic Church, especially itong paninira sa amin. Then, Felix Manalo is the head of his church in 1914. So, ito, nabasa naman natin yan. So, we have to pastract that one. 
Then another time in Ephesians, for the husband, the head of the wife, that Christ is the head of the church, being himself the Savior of the body. That's why for us, one of the characteristic of the true church is the church the body of Christ. So, sinong tinutukoy doon? Of course, the Catholic Church. It was so, ulitin natin ha, 33 AD, started from Jerusalem. So, history yun. Kaya nga, ang binabalik niya, saan sa Biblia, ganun lang talagang alam nila. Makikita ba? Pero ulitin ko, pag history pag-usapan, hindi sila ang totoo. Peke sila. So, now you know. Then Christ as the head of his church, so all these things subjected under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is the body of him, the fullness of him, filling all things with all things. So we have to fast track on this, kasi ito yung talagang kiniklaim na sila daw ito, but in reality, so hindi sila magiklaim. So once again, ulitin ko the point here The true church founded by Christ started in 33 AD. AD is Anum Domini. So, nag-umpisa na yan. Then, they said the real church totally apostasized. So, nawala na daw yun. Tumaliko daw ang totoong simbahan. Kaya nga sila yung pumalit. As their Fasogo says, The church of Christ shall not be spared. Others shall be killed and many disciples shall be drawn away to follow false teaching. The fulfillment of his this prophetic warning by Christ and Paul resulted in a complete disappearance of the Church of Christ. That is, there remain no faithful members. That in this, that's in their pasugo. So nawala na daw silang pumalit sila ng totoo. Kaya nakwani yung punto sila ng totoo sila na ang tama. Pero kung sila ang tama, bakit ang paninira sa simbahang Katoliko ang alam ng kanila mga ministro? Alam ng mga miyembro. Yan yung pinakapunto. So ito, kahit na kamatayan shall not prevail against it. So yun yung binasa din natin kanina. So we move on. Is the kingdom, is the kingdom that is eternal shall stand forever? So may tanong. In the uh, book of Daniel, And this day of those kings shall the God of heaven set up the kingdom which shall never be destroyed and shall the sovereignty thereof be left to another people but it shall break into pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. So yun ang eternal na sinasabi sa Daniel. At inang tinutukoy dito, of course, the Catholic Church, the Church founded by Christ, shall never be destroyed. It shall be indestructible. Kaya nga alam niyo kasi mga kapatid naming, mga Muslim, mga isudyante ko, lahat na mga relihiyon ko noong mga Krisyano, lahat na katutok sa turo namin, lahat sinisira. But habang sinisira na, habang dumadami, billions kami ngayon, we are all the, we are of all the Christian group. Pero bakit kaya? Yun yung paradox ba? Kung sila ay the true church, bakit ang paninira lang alam nila sa church founded by Christ? Sabi nila, mali talaga daw. So yun yung paniwala nila. But according to Daniel, shall never be destroyed. It shall be indestructible. So proven and tested na yan. Remember in the period of reformation, 16th century, who was the first who... Go against the Catholic Church. Of course, Martin Luther din sila. Mga anak na lang yan. Okay, mga anak na lang yan. Tapos, mader pa nila. Sila daw yung totoo. Marami yan. Kaya nga, may mga report kayo. Dating daan. Da... Kay Kibuloy. Malalaman na sila talagang totoo. Ang mali kami. So, kaya nga, now you know. Kaya nga, sana ma-enlighten din kayo with the our class. Okay, na... Mga paratang nila na pare-pareho silang paratang sa amin. Ang tanong, bakit kaya? Kayo, mga Notre Dame yan, kahit na mga Muslim kayo, nakita ba niyo mga kamadrihan, kaparian, kaming mga brother and the other religious leaders in the Catholic Church, naninira ba? Wala. May narinig kayo mag-preaching kami, naninira? Wala. And why? Because we stand of what is right. To preach love to the people, to preach the gospel, sa kanila, they are using the word of God, preaching God, but why destroy 
as Catholics. That's really the point there. Okay, sana malinaw yan sa inyo. So, we move on. So, another verses na sinabi na rin ito, another verse of the scriptures. Ayan, we move on. Some, not all, would fall away from faith. So, totoo naman ito. Okay, kaya nga sila, sabi nga dito in, in the Bible that mga bulaang propeta lumalabas using the name of Christ, which is nangyayari na. Pero pag sila yung tatutaw tatanungin ang mga bulaang propeta daw, yun yung mga original na mga Kristiano, which is the Catholic Church. So once again ha, nag-umpisa lang itong mga sekta, ang mga movement, ang iba't ibang mga founder on the 16th century, the period of reformation when Martin Luther go against the Catholic Church. Okay? Pag umpisa doon, dumadami na sila. There are more than 40,000 Christian groups okay, na sila lahat they claim that they are all the true churches kuno, founded by Christ. But the point here, kung totoo nga sila, bakit ang paninira lang sa mga katoliko ang alam for more than 40,000 groups? So, yun talagang malaking problema. Kaya nga, to end with this, I have to continue this later, but to end with this uh, uh, sharing, and I hope it adds to the report of the the INC. And the rest, by next meeting, hopefully, uh, madadagdagan pa ang kaalaman ninyo about the concern of the Philippine churches, especially itong mga kulto ng umuusbong na ang paninira lang ang alam. So I hope ha kayo, mga kapatid namin na mga Muslim, uh, yun ang realidad. Kaya nga, itong subject natin, at is ngayon, while we... We are friends dito sa Tri People in Cotabato. Uh, the bottom line here na iwasan lang sana yung siraan. Dapat respect is the bottom line. Okay? If you want to serve God, if you want to preach the word of God, please respect other faith. Please respect other doctrine. Hindi paninira unlike this other na mga sulpot na mga kulto. So, with this, God bless everyone. Dalaygon ang Diyos.